The first high-resolution cryo-electron microscope has made its way to New England and it's here in Worcester. UMass Medical School revealed the new machines Tuesday with a ribbon-cutting ceremony. Doctors say this technology will help them better understand some major diseases. Our Brittany Schaefer spoke with doctors at UMass Medical School today and has more. Brittany? Olivia, this new machine will help scientists see atoms more clearly. Therefore, they are hoping to see breakthroughs in what causes diseases like cancer. I am very excited. The first high-resolution cryo-electron microscope in New England is now at UMass Medical School. This equipment allows us to view how biology works in the cell at much better accuracy and efficiency than any other technology before. So those kind of the structural information was very useful for all kind of the research. UMass Medical School's Brian Kelch says the old equipment didn't allow scientists to view the atoms clearly. Therefore, the new technology will further their research in many diseases. It was like we, we had very bad eyesight, no glasses, and we were at the back of the room. Kelch says the microscope will aid in finding causes of diseases and even help drug developers. Many diseases in cancer are caused by um, defects in those processes. Now we can see them in atomic resolution. Including HIV and, uh, you know, the Alzheimer's disease with the, um, on the plug in the brain and the, the structure and the cause about it. To find cures to diseases. I mean, I mean, ultimately we want to find a cure to Alzheimer's and Parkinson's disease and cystic fibrosis and cancer. This $11 million investment was funded by the state and by local nonprofit grants. But Kelch says the knowledge scientists can reveal from these machines is priceless. This is incredibly important. It's going to improve the quality of life for people, ultimately, and it's going to save us a lot of money in health care costs, too. So to, to help to treat the disease and to develop the new drug, this kind of thing. This facility is really for New England to come together, both academic partners and industry partners, to help uh, to aid in human health. Now, because this is the only microscope of its kind in New England, other schools like Harvard will be purchasing time to use it. Olivia? Brittany, thank you.